Are you struggling to create an organization chart from your Excel data? In this video, you'll discover five different ways to make an org chart using Microsoft Excel. Learn why most of these methods have frustrating limitations. Stick around until the end where I'll share an easy solution that actually works. Let's start with basic employee data. Here is an example spreadsheet of a finance department in a business. We have a column of the employees. Each employee has a manager, title, and other information. The part that matters most for creating an org chart is the employee-manager relationship. Let's add a common wrinkle. An employee has a dotted line reporting relationship. Aaron reports to Kathy. As of March 15th, he also reports to Kendra for a special project. We want our Excel data to create something like this dotted line in the organization chart. Let's explore ways to create an organization chart with Excel. Option one, use SmartArt. Microsoft Excel includes a feature called SmartArt, which can create hierarchy diagrams, including organization charts. Here's what you need to know. SmartArt has no connection to Excel data. You must manually build the org chart by copying and pasting. Extra data about employees isn't easy, so use Excel to combine name and title before copying. SmartArt requires you to manually outline the structure. Updates to a SmartArt chart are tedious. Every time the data changes, you have to manually rebuild parts of the chart. This process is also error prone because the outlining tools easily make mistakes. SmartArt does not allow dual reporting structures or dotted line assignments. You are forced to create duplicate cards for Aaron to show the same person in two different branches. SmartArt is missing in Excel 365 online. Yes, that's right. You must download the desktop version of Excel just to view a SmartArt org chart. What is the verdict? Yes, you can create an org chart with SmartArt, but it can be painful. If you're dealing with a lot of data or frequent changes, this might not be the best method. Another option is the Visio Visualizer add-in. It's a mouthful, it's free, and it works in both the web and desktop versions of Excel. Visio Visualizer inserts its own data table into your worksheet. If you're unfamiliar with tables in Excel, just know that they are different from a normal worksheet. Visio Visualizer requires you to use a table. You have to either copy and paste your data into that demo table or rename your own table and match the add-ins required columns. You must modify both your data and your column headings to name, title, employee ID, manager ID, and role type. The add-in breaks if you remove or rename required columns. In this example, a column titled role is not good enough. It must be role type. You have to map the relationships using the ID numbers that it requires. So instead of data like this with just employee and manager, you must create data like this convoluted ID pattern. You decide whether that structure makes sense for you and your data. Visio Visualizer can only display two lines of information in the employee card, name and title. You cannot add data like department or start date. The Visio Visualizer add-in is limited to 100 employees, unless you pay for a premium Visio plan. Visio Visualizer prohibits multiple managers and dotted line assignments. What's the bottom line? If you just need a quick org chart with fewer than 100 employees and minimal data, this could work, Otherwise, you'll run into size and flexibility issues fast. You might consider Visio for 365 or Visio for the web, but these problems might get in your way. First, it requires a commercial license of Microsoft 365. If you have a personal version of Microsoft 365, no Visio on the web for you. Second, it costs more. Microsoft requires at least Visio Plan 1 for organization charts tied to Excel data. Visio Plan 1 is a per-user paid upgrade that your organization will have to cover. Third, it's Visio. A robust diagramming tool is probably overkill for your needs. And fourth, it still doesn't automatically support multiple managers or dotted line relationships. The web version of Visio relies on the same approach as the Visio Visualizer. If those limits apply to you, then you need to consider other options. Options four and five are siblings. They are versions of Visio. Visio Standard and Visio Professional are standalone desktop apps. They can import Excel data directly, but 
They only run on Windows. If you have a Mac, you cannot run the desktop versions of Visio. Adding multiple managers and dotted line relationships are still manual steps. Yes, of course, you can add whatever boxes and lines you want in Visio. The point is, you cannot generate those relationships automatically in Visio from your existing Excel data. Next, they're expensive. Standard starts at around $310, professional at $580. If you need a quick org chart, Visio for desktop is definitely excessive. If your organization already uses Visio extensively, it might make sense, but if not, be prepared for a steep learning curve and a high price tag. Now, for the easy bonus option that actually works with your data, LexChart. LexChart directly addresses the shortcomings of the other options. LexChart is built for organization charts. You can use your data and your columns. There are no forced columns or weird ID structures. LexChart allows as many employees as you need. Multiple managers, no problem. You can change data directly in the org chart. You can create as many organization charts as you want. This means different versions can show changes over time. You can automatically display data on the lines for dotted line relationships. LexChart has inexpensive individual monthly and annual subscriptions. Here are the steps to create an org chart from Excel data with LexChart. One, save your Excel data as a CSV file. In Excel, choose CSV from the file format dropdown before saving. Two, import the CSV into LexChart. Just upload your exported Excel data into LexChart. Three, map the columns in your data to the chart fields. LexChart wants to know which column has employees and which one has managers. You can also add unlimited data to the employee cards and the lines on the chart. Four, customize your chart layout and formatting. There are boundless ways to design and edit your organization chart with LexChart. Notice that LexChart has automatically laid out the chart to account for the fact that Aaron reports to two managers. We can show those relationships in several ways. For example, the card has a unique color. The dotted line is the same color as the manager for that dotted line. And the label on the line also makes it clear. Share or export the final chart. With LexChart, you can share and collaborate with colleagues on any aspect of the chart. When you're done, use the viewer to display the chart or simply export your org chart. LexChart makes great use of your Excel data. If you're looking for a solution that just works with your Excel data and lets you handle real world complexities, LexChart is the way to go. We've just seen six ways to create an organization chart in Excel, and five of them come with tricky limitations. LexChart is the clear winner for flexibility and power. If you want to learn more, visit LexChart.com. Start your limited time, 14 day free trial of LexChart. You don't need a credit card, just sign up and try it. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and comment below. Let me know which method you're using or if you have any pro tips. Thanks and see you in the next one.